What is going on guys? Welcome back to a unexpected Shep's Garage video. We're going to get straight into it and I'm going to skip all the subscribing stuff because I I just came back from vacation the night of the 31st of December and my GTI has a dead battery. So let me sort of explain and but this situation, this is all unedited, all unscripted, so I apologize if there are any, like, uneditations or unscripted stuff with my mouth or voice or whatever. So that's right, you heard that right, my car has a dead battery after a week of sitting. This should not happen, I don't know why it's happening, and I don't know how it happened, but basically, we came home at around 4 o'clock this afternoon, I will go. I usually have a routine of going to start all the cars. Cars meeting just this car, just my mom's Q8. My dad's e-tron is electric, so that's already that's already an automatic start. And my car. Now this is the first time that my car died while sitting for one week. I did not leave anything on in the car. I'm always very good about turning and make sure to turn everything off in the car. No extra lights on it, etc. So. Uh, the car is obviously um, is completely dead. I mean, I even got I does open, but there are no lights on inside. How you know the car is dead, if you're curious, is there is a little blinking light, usually like my dad's Audi right here. This little red light that blinks that tells you that the the battery is sustainable. That there's power to the car, and as you guys can see, there is no battery to the car. No blinking red light on the side of the door there. So car has a dead battery. Fun. To make this even better, I can't even jump the car because we don't have jumper cables. We've always had cars that never needed a jump a jump with jumper cables. So that option's already out. So I have a friend coming tomorrow that has a battery charger that we are going to try charging the battery uh, to see if, the, if it can make it start. Then I'm going to take it to the dealership to see if we can get this sorted out. I don't think that it is an electrical issue, but I sort of wanted to make this video saying that all Mark 8 GTI videos will be on hold for right now. So I'm sort of going to continue this video basically uh, when uh, this car goes to the dealership for its 10,000 mile service. It needs one anyway. I, too, I have two panels hanging under the car. I have the radio, radiator recall that needs to get checked out and it needs an oil change, a 5,000 mile oil change. I do my an oil change every 5,000 miles so it needs, a ten, it needs a second oil change. So that needs to get taken care of as well. So yeah. We'll, I will update you guys when this gets started tomorrow, but yeah, kind of disappointing and honestly very frustrating when it's in the moment. I mean, literally, imagine coming home to your car, your car that you haven't driven for a week and you can't wait to drive it and the battery is dead. So yeah, this honestly kind of sucks. I sort of expected this was going to happen. I always, I joked around about on vacation like, oh, what if my car doesn't start? Yeah, it doesn't even want to unlock. So. Yeah, th that's the situation that I'm in right now. This car's had so many electrical issues too that I honestly sort of had this coming. So I'm gonna get this sorted out, but I'll keep you guys updated after we get the car started. So it is the next morning, and uh, so I can actually see what's going on with this car. Um, I my friend is coming over today with a battery charger. So um, what I'm actually gonna do now is this is a good opportunity to show you guys how do you get into your car if the battery is dead? Because as you know, if the battery is dead, the car will unlock. Like it's it's just the battery, the key isn't communicating to the computer to unlock the car. So how do you unlock it? Well, your Mark 8 GTI key does have this button on the side. So you push this, that releases the physical key. And all you do is there's like this the keyhole in the driver's door. You insert the key and you turn up that manually unlocks the door so you can get inside your car and let's put those on the ground for a second and as you can see there is no sign of life in this thing at all it is completely dead no welcome screen no pulsating red start stop button i mean this thing is just completely dead in here um uh let's just get you guys a closer look so what what concerns me is if this car doesn't charge with the battery charger, then I gotta think of what plan B is gonna be because obviously 
Um, I could jump it, but there's a risk in jumping your car that I may mess up the computers when I've ran the Mark 8 forms. I don't know if that's entirely true, but I don't really want to take that risk. So, what sort of concerns me is, there need at least I need to get enough power so I can undo the parking brake because this car does have an electronic parking brake to lock the rear wheels so it doesn't keep rolling forward. This car does also have an electronic steering wheel lock so I can't even move the steering wheel. So, uh, my friend's gonna come over later today. Hopefully we can solve this and, um, yeah, so I can get to driving this car again and, um, making more videos on it because I absolutely love it. I would be ashamed to even like get rid of it so hopefully it doesn't have to happen but um yeah so i'll keep you guys updated all right guys here is the situation my friend came over shout out to sam lehman um he my friend sam came over to help me jump the car um we tried jumping it with a battery charger which didn't work and then we tried jumping it with his car which did work the car was running a bunch of error messages came up and which is normal because the battery reset obviously and i decided to let it run for 15 minutes and then take it out for a 15 minute drive so i just did that and i came back and decided you want know just to be safe let's run let's let it run for a little, let it, maybe for like another five minutes or so so i did and then i turned it off which was a mistake because now the battery is completely dead, which is very frustrating because now I have to jump this car again and take it over to um, the dealership to have them work on it. So unfortunately, there will be a delay or a hold on Volkswagen Mark 8 GTI content. That is mainly why it started I know that's what mainly gets my channel views but unfortunately it's unfortunate this had to happen it just doesn't want to start like here let me show you look at this so yeah it's um it's unfortunate um I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen, um, so th I guess that's sort of the video. I died, and hopefully in the next video I will have a more of like a resolution to how this is gonna, how this sort of ends. So this is all unscripted. I, I really wish this wasn't a video I'll be making right now, but it is. So yeah, um, I guess this is where I'm gonna end the video. My Mark 8 GTI died after a week on vacation. That's definitely good. This video is definitely gonna get a lot of views, isn't it? So, without further ado, I guess, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I feel so bad right now. I'm really, I'm, I'm very sorry. I know I'm probably gonna let you guys down. I know I was gonna talk about, oh, how my Mark 8 GTI suspension is, how my h and suspension is gonna be going, but I kinda wanna have this figured out first because in that video, I was planning on taking the car for a drive. I obviously can't anymore. So I feel so bad right now. This channel is probably gonna fall apart, but it's okay. We're gonna get this sorted, and hopefully, next video we have a brand new GTI. Not brand new, a brand new fixed GTI that I can finally make videos on. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did, smash that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. I guess. Peace.